Whew. Okay. <laughs> I have been running around with like a chicken with my head cut off kind of for the past week. This whole posting every other day, which I love doing for the month of December, plus the giveaways, all that has been so much work on top of the projects and the events that I've been attending. Um, so I have been going kind of crazy. I feel wound up all the time. So today is actually going to be a special get ready with me because tonight I am attending the Unforgettable Gala 2017 and so yeah, it's a special event. It's going to be black tie so I have to look schnezze as possible and I wanted to show you guys the process of getting ready. Sometimes these things turn into an all day thing. Um, I kind of spent the first half of my day editing getting a video ready for next week. Um, so I spent five hours on that. I basically had to go with Michael. He needed some pieces for his suit, so we had to run to the, the suit shop, pick up a couple pieces for his suit, and then my dresses came in today. So I was trying them on, making sure if I had to make any little minute changes, I would I would have enough time to cinch them in or anything. I, I'm like out of breath. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> but um, yeah, so luckily the dresses look great and Got my nails did, or I did my nails myself. I'll show you guys what I used actually, because this is like my little secret, kind of a secret. Um, I use these. These are from Kiss. These are the Gel Fantasy. Um, they're glue on nails. Do they look like glue on nails? I do not think so. <sighs> nope. At least I don't think so. These are perfect for events that I have to do that are kind of on the fly or I didn't have time to go to the nail salon and or I didn't have time for my nail polish to dry. These will last up to a week so that's really nice and so I was wearing these for example for both Toronto and Vancouver when I went there um, for the month of November and so I'm wearing these. <gasps> okay, hopefully that camera <laughs> setup is okay. So first things first, I have makeup on my face right now just a little bit because I did a little bit of filming this morning so I need to get that off my face so I can start fresh. So I'm going to use a makeup remover. This is actually the Skin Food Milkshake Point makeup remover. Um, I put it in this because it's just easier to, to take out of the pump. And then I'm going to use the Laneige Vitamin Brightening Cleansing Water to clean off the little bit of foundation and sunscreen that I do have on my face. Also, I'm realizing how little time. I have like 40 minutes to basically do my makeup, touch up my hair if I need to, get in my dress, pack my purse, all that stuff, pick my heels out. So I am really running late right now. I'm actually going to do a voiceover of the makeup and explain to you guys in editing what I do. But I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and remove my makeup first. Also, I'm looking at some picture inspiration. I think I want to do something along the lines of this, maybe? Or maybe, maybe I want to do something more bold. Like This looks so pretty, but honestly on me, it always looks very overwhelming. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to seeing myself with that much eye makeup, um, especially now since I don't even rim my eyes with eyeliner anymore. <laughs> But um, I, I kind of want to attempt it. Maybe not the best time to attempt something different, but we will not try. I'm gonna look up a YouTube video. <laughs> Definitely getting makeup remover in my eye, so might have to go rinse my face. <laughs> So I went ahead and removed the rest of my makeup with some cleansing water and then I actually took the pore master from Audithom, squeezed them out and then realized I should probably moisturize my face a little bit so I went in with this baby face mist also from Audithom. This is the collagen version and I sprayed it on my face so I still had some of that pore master on my finger and then realizing I needed to let this sit for a second I just kind of wiped it off on something else for later use. I don't know if you guys have ever done this before but I've done it plenty because I am clearly terrible planning. <laughs> so then I just primed my eyes and then went in with an eyebrow pencil. This one's the new one from Maybelline. And I just filled in my eyebrows. Now my eyebrows are microbladed so I just kind of touch them up and kind of define them a little bit more. And then I apply a little bit of lip balm and pro tip. If you guys get dry skin around your nostrils, I get it especially during the winter time. I take a little bit of that lip balm and just kind of put it on there. Since it's a little bit of a heavier moisturizer, it kind of seals everything down and makes it a little bit less obvious. 
And then I go back to my face primer and I apply that onto my skin now that my face mist has absorbed. And basically I just kind of apply this where I need my foundation to last a little bit longer, so kind of on my nose, cheeks, and forehead. Now moving on to my eyeshadows, I'm gonna use this Natasha Denona palette and I am gonna take Nude Mauve and blend it all over my crease slash orbital bone area. Next, I'm gonna take this shade, this is called Tarte and it's from Carity, and I'm just gonna deepen her crease a little bit and then using a combination of glitter glue from Too Faced and also this L'Oreal eyeshadow, I'm going to try to fill my whole eyelid with this black shade and I'm using glitter glue because it's so sticky your black eyeshadow will stick exactly where you applied the glitter glue so you don't have to worry about fallout and this black will be super dark and basically stick and stay wherever you apply it. Going back to my Natasha Denona palette, I'm gonna take the shade Nude Vino and kind of soften the line between the black and the rest of my crease colors. Next, for brightening up the inner tear duct area, I'm gonna take a really bright shimmery color. This one's unfortunately discontinued from VDL, but any shimmery champagne color will work. I'm gonna lay a little bit of that glitter glue down again just to make everything stick, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and apply and layer on that shimmery white slash vanilla e color. And as you can see, again, this is just personal preference. You just kind of want to work it in there, kind of work with your eye shape. I'm also using a bunch of clean brushes to blend out, which is kind of another trick that I have when working with really dark shadows. And then I'm taking a, a little bit of that nude vino again and running it under my eye. Now next I'm going to take a pen liner. Pen liners for me are just kind of the fastest way to apply black liner. And I'm just going to do my typical cat wing type of line. Nothing too fancy here. And since this is a special occasion, I'm gonna go ahead and rim my eyes. And I'm also gonna go to the bottom waterline and rim about halfway in. I never really line all the way in because I just find it gets messy and it's just a little too overbearing for my eye shape. Now this is after I applied <laughs> my false eyelashes and as you can see I hate black eyelash glue it just gets everywhere so I'm gonna let that dry and remove it later and in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and apply on my foundation I'm using the flawless fusion foundation from Laura Mercier along with a dampened sponge and I'm just blending this out I believe I'm the shade cashew and as you can see it's a little bit light but I'm gonna go back and then contour anyway so it works in my favor but just because I want to be safe, I'm going to blend it down my neck. And then this is kind of when I go in and remove the rest of that eyelash glue once it's dried. So for my concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Concealer. I'm just going to apply a good thick layer underneath my eyes and on any other areas that I want to correct, which is my nostrils and that little mark on my chin. And then again, of course, taking that dampened sponge and blending it out. Then I'm gonna go in with a bit of powder. I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and just kind of setting areas that I need to set, basically under my eyes, because that's where I get the most creasing. And then I take a stippling brush and just kind of brush it over my face to make sure there's not too much powder on my skin. Now I'm gonna use this NYX Contour Concealer product and just contour the sides of my face. Nothing too fancy here, I just love the way this photographs and I think it adds a lot of dimension to my face so I just kind of apply it to the hollows of my cheeks and along the temples and of course taking that sponge and just melting it into my foundation and then I like to add a little bit of setting power to this so I do apply a little bit of additional bronzer on top of everything. Now this is Max Swoon blush and it's one of my favorite neutral blushes so that's going to go on my cheeks and then I'm going to take this Tarte Amazonian clay highlighter and just apply it to the tops of my cheeks and of course the top of my nose and that's the finished look so I really liked how it turned out I kind of did this on the fly but it photographed amazingly so really happy with this okay so my makeup took me way longer than I was thinking I need to throw on my dress pick out my heels pack my purse and leave in like five minutes. So here on out, I'm gonna start filming probably on my iPhone because I obviously can't take my big old fancy camera with me because it's not gonna fit in my clutch. So let me go get dressed and finish getting ready. And this is the finished result. So this is what I look like for the Unforgettable Gala. I got my dress from loveculture.com and it was actually a very, very beautiful dress. So I was really excited about being able to wear that. Um, yeah, so that's overall what I look like and of course I filmed a lot of stuff for my Instagram story So I'm actually gonna include a lot of the footage from there 
I overall had an amazing night. The food was great, the entertainment was great, everyone I met was super nice and I got to meet some of my favorite YouTubers that I watch personally and got to talk to them for a bit so I just had a really great experience and on top of that you guys my favorite artist like basically one of my favorite Korean artists played and I wasn't expecting them to do any type of performance, but it was epic high, and I am the biggest Tablo fan ever, so it was really cool when they went on stage. They played one of my favorite songs, Born Hater, and at one point, Tablo was like five feet away from me, literally, so I kind of fangirled. I usually don't fangirl that hard. It's not really me, but boy, did I fangirl. Now, onto the giveaway for this video. I'm giving away some of my favorite Japanese brushes, these are some of mine I'm showing you guys because I realized there's a terrible glare and I wanted you guys to see what they look like so I'm showing you guys mine. And details for the giveaway will be in the description box below so be sure to check that out before you enter. And for last video's giveaway which was for Meredith's morning routine, the giveaway winner is Queenie Perloss on Instagram. So congratulations, I will be reaching out to you very shortly. And as always, hope you guys are happy and healthy and enjoying the month of December. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Hey.